All right, this is Ben Howes from Core Studio, and we're going to do a little two-part video series on building and editing Swarm apps. Uh, we'll start with a really simple app that takes an input surface and meshes it with a couple of sliders, just some quads. And uh, we'll come back in the second part uh, of the series, the second video, to add some attributes to those panels. So let's get started. In Swarm, I'm going to click New App, give it a little name, Surface Mesher Example, and I'll launch Grasshopper. So I did this previous uh, video where I, I used an existing Grasshopper definition. Today we're going to start from scratch and keep it very simple. Um, I'm going to start with a surface. And this will be my uh, single surface from Rhino here. And I'll do two sliders. I'll go from, let's say, 5 to 100. Call this one U. And copy and paste that. Name the second one B. So now we'll dip, use the grasshopper mesh surface component and place this up. Okay, so uh, now we've got a little mesher. Pretty simple. Okay, last thing, let's explode that mesh out into its panels so each one is clickable in the viewer. And uh, for that, I'll use the mesh explode component. This comes from Mesh Plus, I believe. So that gives us 462 meshes as opposed to one mesh with that many faces. Okay, so now we're ready to kind of complete the swarm app. I need a mesh output component. And we're gonna I'm gonna name these. We'll name the surface input surface and let's keep that, let's say mesh panels. Okay, so there's my little grasshopper definition. Now in the core apps tab uh, swarm authoring. I'll use the swarm builder component and just wire this up. Hold down shift to uh, plug multiple inputs in. And you see I get them over here uh, in the swarm UI. And finally I'll plug that output component. And I think that's all I need here. I will uh, press the send button and say sure uh, to save a default state. And let's close Grasshopper completely. And we'll go to the app and just make sure it works. So it looks like that surface didn't really stick when I make the save state. So let's just make another. I'll reference the input surface. And, whoops, let's try that again. Oh boy, we're going to edit all this out. Let's try that one more time, okay? There we go. So now if I run a compute, I should get actual panels. And maybe we'll uh, pick some magic numbers here. And save one more state. We'll call this one the default. Oops, default. And let's go to the uh, web app and just make sure this runs in the browser. Ooh, I think I'm signed in as different users over here. OK, uh, I think I'll work through that in between videos, and we'll come back and try and edit that app in part two. See you then.